Exactly valuable means. I'd like to show you one small example. Children, do you know what is this? It is a 10 rupee note. What can I get from this 10 rupee note? I can buy anything. I can buy a chocolate, I can buy a biscuit, I can buy a chips, whatever I want. So for now I have taken a small I have bought this one. Now what I do is I'm going to score this note saying you are useless you are unworthy you have mean nothing to me I really don't want you and I live him down children now tell me in spite of me scolding this note and telling that I don't want you can I not buy anything from this I still can go to a shop and buy whatever I want why? Because in spite of me telling you're unworthy, you're useless or anything, this note hasn't lost its value. Similarly, children, we also have certain values. We are valuable to God. And how is that? It is by three main points. One is 
God has created me. God has created me. And God loves me. God loves me. How does he love me is he has paid the highest price because I am valuable to him. How did he pay his highest price is he gave his life for us on the cross. He gave his life for us on the cross. Children, that is the main thing that you need to know. According to the scriptures in John 3.16, it says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Children, God loved us, so he came to this earth, he created this earth, he loves us, and he gave his life for us because we are valuable to him. Now, there are two main questions that arise. The first question is, who owns me? Children, who owns me? Jesus owns me. What was paid to own us? What was paid? It was Jesus' life. He gave his life. He paid his life to own us because we are valuable to him. We are valuable to him. Now we will see another story to support that I am valuable through a story of Esther. It's time for a Bible story. Long time ago there was a woman named Esther. She lived in the land of Persia. God had an amazing plan for her. Esther and her family were Jewish, which was a very big deal at that time in Persia. The Persians didn't really like the Jewish people then. Esther was an orphan and she lived with her cousin Mordecai, who raised and protected her after her parents had died. Then one day something happened that changed Esther's life. The king of Persia wanted to find a wife, so he conducted a beauty pageant, where the winner would be the queen. Women from all over the kingdom were there, but there was only one who caught the eyes of the king. It was Esther. She was very beautiful and God helped Esther to win the pageant. Then Esther became the queen of Persia. But the king did not know that she was a Jewish, so she kept it a secret because she was scared of what would happen if he got to know. There was another person named Haman who worked for the king. He hated the Jewish people so much that he gave the king a terrible idea to kill all the Jewish people. Haman convinced the king and set a plan. That is where Esther comes in and she didn't want to see her people get killed by Haman's terrible plan. Esther knew no matter what had happened, she was a valuable child of God. She knew that God had created her, loved her and blessed her and that if she stood up for her people, God would surely help her. Esther trusted God and organized a banquet for the king and his noblemen. Surprisingly, the king was very pleased with Esther's banquet, so he offered her to request anything that she desired, and that would be fulfilled. That very moment, Esther requested the king to take away the order that was passed for killing the Jewish people. She also confessed that she herself was a Jew and if the order was passed, even she will die too. Immediately, the king granted her request. He also removed Haman from his job and gave his possessions to Esther and Mordecai. He also passed a decree to keep all the Jewish people safe. Hence, God's amazing plan for Esther came true as she was chosen to be a channel, a valuable possession of God. You understood what exactly I wanted to tell you. You and me are valuable to Christ. Whatever criticisms, whatever negative things we get from people is not what we need. What we need is the acknowledgement of God who says that you are valuable to me. According to scriptures in 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 23, 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 23, you, you were bought at a price. Do not become slaves. You, you were bought at a price. Do not become slaves. Children, this is what God wants us to be. We need not have to take anything what people say about us. What we need to do is just think about God and rely on Him. Remember that He gave His life for us because we are valuable to Him. 
you are valuable children okay children okay now let's see what mr bunny has to tell about this yes we are valuable we all have a price and we are precious in god's sight isn't it bunny i feel great i learned god has created us god loves us god has paid a high price for us please praise the lord ainta aunty sonnad ellaru kettingla seri nama jabikalama அன்புள்ள ஆண்டவரே இந்த காலை விலை காமுக்க கூட அணுகூடி நன்றி தகப்பனே அப்பா இந்த காலை விலையில் ரச்சாவே இதை கா பார்த்து கொண்டிருக்கிற ஒவ்வொரு பிள்ளைகளையும் ரச்சாவே உமது கருத்துக்குள்ள அழைப்பு கொடுக்கிறோம் அப்பா இந்த பிள்ளைகள் ரச்சாவே அப்பா நீங்கள் உருவாக்கி நீரே அதை காமுக்கு நன்றி தகப்பனே அப்பா இந்த பிள்ளைகளை நீங்கள் தேர்ந்தெடுத்தீரே அதை காமுக்கு ஸ்தோத்திரம் தகப்பனே அப்பா இந்த பிள்ளைகளை வெறியேறு கற்ற கிரயத்தினால் ராஜாவே மீட்டெடுத்தீரி அத காமக்க நன்றி ஒவ்வொரு பிள்ளைகளும் ராஜாவே வெளியேற பெற்றவர்கள் இந்த அறிந்து கொள்ள ராஜாவே அப்பா நீங்க கிருபை தந்து ஒவ்வொரு பிள்ளைகளையும் நீங்க வழி நடத்துங்க யாவற்றும் உமது கருத்துக்களாக கொடுக்கிறோம் ஏசு கிறிஸ்துவின் நாமத்தில் செவிக்கிறோம் நல்ல பிதாவே ஆமே